What's your name? I'm Tabby. Tabby. Uh, Tabby who? Does it have any like meaning or? No, I'm Tabitha. That's my full name. It shows I'm Tabby. Oh, nice. So, Tabby, it's, it's nice to, host, to see you today here. It's nice to interact with you. I hope this will be a good interaction. Yeah. Time and everything. And we had fun. So, on to our next question. What's your favorite TV show? Um, my favorite TV show, I usually like watching Citizen Television. Uh -huh. And then the only show that makes me... Mm -hmm. I don't think whether there's any show that makes me the only telenovela that I like. So you mostly like telenovela? Yeah. You're all about the love. Yeah. All about and the sweet. Oh, that's awesome. So, Tabby, yeah. where would you want to travel? Where I, where I like to travel. Would you want to travel? Like, actually, yes. Okay, actually, uh -huh. many brains of mine. I want to travel to the Europe countries. Like, I, I, I feel like travel to the US. Uh -huh. to Canada, to Germany. Which one specifically to your More to your specifically, taste? Specifically, uh -huh. I just feel like travel to the US or Canada. Why? 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 What is the good about the US? Because usually, uh -huh. the most that most people have, I usually like it. And then I like their coverage because me, the only thing that is me in my dreams, not I want to accomplish, uh -huh. is having money. You see, yeah. If I go there or either the marry there, yeah. I know I'll be having money. You see, yeah. I, I like their coverage. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's great. Mm. So, what's your favorite book? My favorite book. <laughs> you got me today. Me, I don't have any favorite book. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, that's nice. So, this is a specific question. So, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Like from now, where do you see yourself in five years? Somewhere. Time? Like yeah. somewhere, what do you like me to expect? Well, like, it's I'll like, reach, okay, uh -huh. according to me, I feel in the next five years I'll be rich. Uh -huh. Or either I'll be having somebody who uh -huh. is next to me who will know that Tabby is gay, uh -huh. having money. Something like that. Just, so you picture... Just good life. Oh, yeah. That's, that's great. I wish you all the best. So, what's your favorite memory? Favorite memory is when... Uh -huh. My dad told me that my mom was delivered to baby girl twins. Wow! That's really great. I'm sure that was a real, really joy. Yeah. Um, so, on to the next question. What makes you really happy? Usually, what makes me happy? We uh -huh. have money, good life. Money, good life. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> so, I have to ask you a question. So, think about it critically. What three objects? Will you carry to the desert land three objects only? That's desert yeah. So they tell you I'm taking you to Egypt to the desert to see the sand dunes and everything. What three objects will you carry with you? I'll carry water. Nice. Number one. The yes. The second one. Uh -huh. Since they're in that desert land, uh -huh. you know there'll be no any shops to buy anything, so I'll carry some snacks. <laughs> And then, oh, those some snacks to carry to help those people around there, or maybe those needy kids children around there. Yeah. So those snacks are carry not fine. It's not really an object. What do you mean by an object? Like objects to say, like what 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 do you want to carry? Yeah. Like personally, I think the, an object I would carry to a desert land is a hat because of wow. too much sand. Oh, that's what you mean. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I mean, you can also carry I think water the bottle with the water. Like, yeah, water Which water. is a, yeah. Was I not right by me saying like uh, carry some snacks? Snacks are for eating. It's not an object that can help you something to it help you survive help in, the, in the desert. Yeah, it's not like you're going to stay in the desert for a long but period the main, of time. The main object in the desert is water. Yeah. So that was I mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. What is the last object you can carry? Uh, the last. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so on to the next. Yes. Which animal character would you describe yourself as? Like, like you can say an a uh, rabbit is can is it a rabbit? Is cunning. You can say you're as strong as a lion. So which animal would you identify a character that compacts with yourself? Of course, brave. Brave. So that's a. Lion, definitely. Oh, that's nice. So, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? 
the craziest thing I've never done, I've ever done, yes, is me not meeting my boyfriend. <laughs> Tell us a short story. My boyfriend now right now is in Canada, but I don't think by now we go time. Oh, but the craziest thing I've never met is me meeting him. Uh huh. It's the craziest thing because I've never met him. Uh, we hope the best for you, baby. Uh, so pick one celebrity you can go to dinner with from today or past or any, any. Like, you know Diamond Platinum. Diamond Platinum from Tanzania. Yeah. Wow, Diamond Platinum. Good choice. Celebrity and like dinner with. Wow, celebrity card. Exactly. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Mashujade. Mashujade? Yeah, I, oh. I like to celebrate. Kenya, we celebrate that. Yeah, for the fire fighters, yeah. for yeah. independence. Yeah. That's Kenya, that's great. That's really great. Any, any, uh, any relative of yours who celebrates Mashuda Day? My grandfather. Wow, grandfather. that's so really great. That's I should, what? I should come for an, uh, what signature. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what's your biggest fear? Biggest fear. Yeah. It's me dating somebody and then it disappoints me. That's the biggest fear. Definitely. That I'm in love with and then at the, at the end of the day it disappoints me. It's the biggest fear. Yeah. It's really bad, honestly. Um, what is the most important important quality in a person that you like? Quality. Like, what do you mean by quality? Uh, like, what do you like? Personally, I like how brave you are. I like how enthusiastic, uh -huh. I like how straightforward you are. So, what quality do you like in a person? So, me, the only quality I like in a person, I may be given an example of my friend, or my favorite friend, that's to be, maybe, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like a guy to be loyal, a guy to be sincere, like if, if I tell him or her, uh -huh. it's like then, I mean, he will be at least about telling me that it's Yeah. All right, on to the next. This is a little bit personal, but you can say it in general. So, would you go on a date with a broke man? <laughs> so you say that I go to dinner or to date. Yeah, would you would you accept to go to date with a broke life. person? <laughs> this is a little bit tired. This person is nice, caring and everything, but the only okay, problem is that he is broke. He's uh, nice to me. Mm -hmm. He's cute. He's mm -hmm. like. He's everything. He doesn't have money. If I have some money, I can support the guy. Yeah. And then if I see that the guy has the future, uh -huh. then just... Wow! But if I see the guy doesn't have any future, it's just broke, broke, like broke. <laughs> so you can't even continue with the guy. Only so like, you're okay with paying the bills for a few months? Yeah. I'll, I'll allow to pay my bills for... Okay, I'll, I'll allow to, to pay the bills for a month. Uh -huh. And then this goes by. <laughs> you may think if the guy has a future. Mm. If the guy has, has a future, so why will I not? Yeah, yeah, an ambition, yeah. yeah. So on to the next. That's a really great answer. And hopefully the more ladies like you. <laughs> uh, so let me ask you, what is the, your, the, the job you consider it's your best that you can do? The only job I consider is the best that I literally like. Yeah. Me, like, I'm an actress at Wow! Nice. So I like, I like if anybody just tells me to be, I give you a script, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I give a script. I want you to do like this. Yeah. Do it. Wow! That's the only life I would like. To that's awesome. I would love to see you on our theaters sometime. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, what job do you think is the worst? The job that I think is the worst. Yeah, which job do you think is the worst? My lord, the patient's so tough. Very tough because there are a lot of jobs. But which one do you consider it as the worst job you can ever do? Me, I can't hustle. If I miss traveling, maybe I do this. How do we call it in English? The Mzengo. Oh, it's called look, construction. Yeah, Manual construction. Labor. Manual labor. Manual labor, yeah. yeah. That's what that usually men does. Me, yeah. I love such any details. <laughs> go and carry some bricks. Yeah. Touch now. There are some women who really go do that. Those that are energetic. Work. Me, I don't think what I'll do it. You <laughs> don't think you can manage. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what is 
people. Yeah, tell us. So, what do you think? A red flag for you in a relationship when you get with someone. What's, what's a red flag that he show you and you're like, no, no, I'm out, I'm out. What do you mean by a red flag? A red say. flag is like, if I like you and then I still like, you told me the other day that you're like this and now that I'm seeing your character has changed, you're like this, you know, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. If this person lied to you and you know exactly the truth and you asked him and he lies, that's a red flag. Uh -huh. So, oh, oh, what's your question now? So I'm asking, what what's a red flag for you in a relationship? For me, a red flag for me is uh -huh. like maybe if a guy tries to tell me, Tabi, you know, okay, if, if I ask the guy for a paper, mm -hmm. or the guy was supposed to send me some notes, yeah. you see? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, the guy just changed his mind and saying that I'm not going to provide for you. That's a red flag for me. It's true. Or either the guy tells me that, Tabi, tomorrow I'm taking you for a date. Yeah. And then tomorrow when it, it comes, uh -huh. the guy just changes Yeah, the, the fake empty promises. Yeah. That's definitely, a red flag. definitely a red flag. Yes. Yeah, true, true. So what's the weirdest reason to break up with someone? The weirdest reason for me to break up with a guy? Uh -huh. uh, the first reason, me I can give up many reasons why it's become so weird for me to break up with a guy. Uh -huh. If me asking for money is a weird reason for me to break up with a guy because it's it can just be, maybe the guy by that time doesn't have any money. So uh, what will I do? Yeah. So you have to be patient. Maybe we'll wait yeah. for the time the guy will be okay and yeah. then and save the amount. You see? Yeah. So that's the first weird thing I'll ever done to a guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So what is the? Do you have any? What is the smallest reason you've ever made to someone? Uh, you've ever, you've seen to someone and decided to end the relationship. Like some people the say, the smallest reason. Yeah, some people like I have a friend who told me that uh, the, first, the first. Let me explain. Uh huh. The first reason that the smallest. The smallest. That made totally. The smallest. Yeah. The smallest yeah. yeah. Like, like an example. The information. Baby, tell that my your boyfriend is with another lady. That's the smallest thing because I've no I've no idea. But you don't have proof of, of it. So that's what I mean. Uh -huh. is the smallest thing ever because I don't have any. There's some people who have broken up with their boyfriend because they remove toothpaste in a wrong way. Some what? people have been... So, yes, and some some girlfriends tell me... Okay, maybe if I can say, mm -hmm. me, I broke up with my guy uh -huh. by saying that he doesn't do the chaka chaka thing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. That's the smallest reason. If the guy is providing, why would I even try to break up with the guy? Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, that's crazy, a crazy one. Uh, what's the worst date you've gone to? The worst date? Yes. Me, I can't say that I've never had a worst date in my life. I'm just okay. Yes! <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's really crazy. Like, have you, have you ever gone somewhere and then you just see like, you're, you're finished eating and the dude just tells you, I don't, I don't have any money, I have to pay for the rest. I've never had like that. Oh wow! Maybe I'll, you, I'll try this deal. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. So, after how much time can you sleep with someone after a breakup? Um, you do, or you just straight away, what do you mean? not gonna oh, resolve. Or either, okay, I break up with a guy. Yes. So, after how so, much time will it take, take you to? Feel? Yes, and go for maybe. Me, dating another guy. Yeah. Okay, for me, it just depends how I broke up with the guy. I yeah. With the guy, the, the other okay. guy, or with my ex. It huh? depends the the situation that was. Oh, and then the, the thing that will make me to enter in another relation mm -hmm. as early as possible. Yeah, if the guy is providing, is clearing, is doing the checker checker well. <laughs> so, why will I not? Yeah, why will I not rush? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. So, tell me here, what's the best way to spice up a relationship? What's the best? What's the best way to spice up a relationship to make the relationship interesting and everything? We are more getting you that. Just try to explain, like, elaborate. Oh, like, example, if I have a boring relationship with you, how I can spice it, I can spice it up is probably buying you gifts and taking you out, probably on vacations and everything. So, so you mean, how will I do what that? They make the, the relationship interesting, you get. Like, if you, if you have stayed with someone for a very long time, okay. and you want to spice it up, like, because, you're doing everything as normal, so you get tired with each other. Most of the time, that's 
how uh, breakups occur because you're getting tired of this person and everything. So, how do you spice up the relationship to make it last longer? For me, uh -huh. the way I'll do it, mm -hmm. maybe by surprising the guy, you see, coming, even if you come with a chocolate thing, <laughs> that's a surprise. Yeah, that's yeah. Just there for him. Yeah. Even if you don't have anything, you just provide what. Uh, yeah. That will make the relationship last. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to ask you a funny question. So, what uh, is the lowest amount you can sell your underwear for? The lowest amount. The lowest amount, like the lowest. One thousand. One thousand shillings. All right. All one, right. One of my underwears. Uh -huh. Or either my chong. My chong actually. Yeah. Because my. Let me check. Is my chong. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. The lowest amount I can tell it's one thousand Kenyan Wow, that's nice. That's nice quality underwear. Yeah. So on our last question, mm -hmm. mm, could you tell us a joke? Oh, no. <laughs> you just got me. Oh. Anyway, uh, joke can I crack now? Uh, yeah. All right. So thank you for your time. Yeah. Next time I'll crack a joke with you. You just got me offside. Oh, so offline, sir. All right. So tell us, tell, tell us. Uh, our viewers to subscribe to our to Asenovic TV and click the notification bell button. Wow, guys, I'd like to tell you this is Asenovic TV. I'd like you to go there to YouTube, subscribe, like, and share. There's a click button here, you click the plus button, and then that will be okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you, thank bye you, bye next time. Bye.